Hello guys, um, thank you for joining my channel. Um, I know it's been like a while since I've uploaded a video, but um, those of you who know me, I've been away in London and I've also been ill. So I'm all back now on top form, back home. And I just wanted to come today on today to show you what I actually got for London. Um, yeah, so I went to London with Levi of Masculine Intuition Readings. Um, we did the same last autumn awesome break as well. And it was absolutely wonderful. Um, we stayed in this amazing hotel um, in Notting Hill and uh, all close to the tube and it was just a brilliant time, you know, but there's never enough time. We always say that, don't we? But there really isn't enough time. Um, you know, especially when you have fun and catch up with people um, who you don't see very often and you just never want it to end. And of course, I mean, obviously, um, we did loads of shopping and loads of walking, loads of eating loads of laughing and it was just amazing um and thank you to levi anyway for being my guardian angel for the week um because i was having anxiety and panic attacks uh like there was no tomorrow um and he completely took control and really looked after me so thank you levi um so basically we said both this stuff was said before we went Oh, we're not going to buy any tarot decks because there's nothing we like. Um, well, you know, there you go. And so, I mean, there is a couple of things I want to show you guys. Um, some, like, uh, two hidden gems I found. Something else I found I wished I hadn't bought. Um, so I'm hoping that somebody's got this little deck um, that I purchased. Levi bought it as well um, because it makes absolutely zero sense to me. Right, okay, so first of all, what I did was, um, we spent some time in Watkins and Treadwells and Atlantis, obviously. Um, there wasn't a lot in Treadwells at all this time. Watkins, obviously, is the forerunner of all the tarot and stuff, and the, the stuff in there are absolutely lovely. Um, so, rewind to three years ago, when I first went down to three, four years ago, I think it was. Um, I went in Watkins, and I've got a cabinet downstairs and the, where all the rare books are and some out of print uh, tarot decks um, or some really old tarot decks that you can't get no more and I did see this tarot deck and book which I had many many years ago and um, I actually sold it stupidly enough I sold it and I've always missed it and I've always wanted it again. Um, and I think Patrick still sells it, he does, on his website. But like the shipping to the UK, obviously in the grand scheme of things, you know. Um, and it's lovely to have a pre-owned copy as well. So this is in the cabinet in Watkins for £60 with a guidebook as well. So, you know, I went the, the following year and the year after that it was still there. And the year after that it was still there. And this year it was still there. And I did say to Levi, I says, right, okay, if that brother of Taro's there, I'm going to get it this year. And it was. And so um, I had it a lot cheaper than um, it was marked to pass because I explained, you know, guys, this has been in the cabinet like for centuries. Um, is there any chance I can have it like cheaper? And so they give it me cheaper. Um, and I'm so glad because, like, obviously, I presume it was a gay person, a gay man who owned this deck because it's specifically geared towards the gay male community. It was one of the first gay decks that were ever um, out there, fully gay male deck. There is lots of nudity on here, but all very tasteful. Um, and it's from the original print run from 2002. Um, it's not everybody's bag, um, but to me, it's a really, really special deck. Because back then, you know, things were different. Um, you know, it was a different time. It was 22 years ago. And, you know, it's not been used. It looks like it's not been used. Even though the box has got a few dinks on it, I don't think it's been used. Um, it's absolutely pristine. Um, and, and it's just such a special deck um, because, like, it reminds me of times gone by. And also, I was looking at the people in, uh, you know, the guys in the in the deck, and I, you know, thinking, I'm wondering what they're doing now. I wonder if like some of them have passed away or something. So I would actually like to get in contact with Patrick and just, you know, tell him tell him my story about the deck. Um, 
because yeah I don't, I don't know why i got rid of it in the first place i had this like um i don't know this moment when i sold off all my decks probably about 10 years ago um and like sadly this one was in the pile um so i've always wanted it ever since and i've never seen it um until i went to watkins but yeah this is one of my most treasured possessions i've had from london and yeah this one will never be leaving my side um unlike the other copy but i'm really really happy that i got this deck again and so uh yeah uh so that's my brother of tarot companion and guidebook no brother of tarot and the companion guidebook right okay now secondly um i can't find my knife to open oh i've got one here right this deck okay this was done we kind of like both looked at this deck um and we said oh yeah yeah we'll have it because like the price was 16.99 um i'm opening this with my uh my craft journal knife it's really sharp so i'm going to be careful okay it's the oracle of um deccans so there's uh it says encounter the 66 uh, 36 spirits from the egyptian zodiac with the oracle of deccans engraved on stones and worn as amulets since before the loss of the great library of alexandria these many named gods promoted physical and spiritual health this deck continues that tradition each card is a talisman providing images and fragments of poems for divination protection and healing this double deck allows you to go beyond seeking answers to offering magical intervention place them on your altar, to carry them in your pocket or give them to friends in need these cards are the temple the offerings and the healing talisman use them to work wonders find the companion text to this deck a wheel of small dots and there's the, the website so um it's by brian wilkins and brennan reese and you know first of all you get like a double deck so both decks are exactly the same you get a black copy and a white copy um light and shadow so you know we was both really excited to like kind of oh this is really cool like you know something we hadn't seen before because the illustrations are like nothing we've seen before either and it's just completely unusable one there's no guidebook. Two, the instructions on the website don't make sense. Three, there is a separate companion guidebook you can buy, which is £26, which is more than a deck. It's 112 pages long, and all it is is prose and poetry. So there's no actual like instructions. I've even listened to the guy's, co the guy's podcast to see if I could make sense of it. Um and there's just nothing i cannot get nothing from it um, i had an open mind we was we was playing with levi's deck um and it i mean you've got like um your birthright this strange letting go we call delight to forget the beard the bearded sea falling from her hair with a shining crown of thorns you were born lining your cheeks with pearls and it's got all this like kind of like you know prose on the bottom um out on earth you use this in a reading i have no idea whatsoever so if anybody has purchased this deck and has found a way to use it could you please um you know message me email me or whatever i understand the astrological part um because of the um each sign split into three decans um, but it still doesn't make sense at all. Um, I have no idea about e Egyptian astrology at all. I struggle with um, Western astrology. So, you know, I have to have something kind of like there in front of me in black and white so I can read it and study it. I mean, I suppose I'm just, you know, it could be a really good deck if you know how to use it. So I would be really, really grateful if somebody could point me in the right direction. Because as I said, I've explored every option. There's nothing on YouTube. Um, you know, the, 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 the creator's just talking complete riddles. Um, and I can't make any sense of it whatsoever. So that is um, an impulse purchase. 
that I may not ever be able to use. But you know, it was $16.99, so you know, it didn't break the bank. So that is another one. Um, the third one I had was the New York Lenormand by Robert M. Place. Um, this is lovely because it is um based on the Hoffman and Kropperstedt published in Berlin in 1854. So what I love about this is the simplicity. I love the card stock as well. It's like card card. Um, no fancy bells and whistles. The backs are all plain, which I love as well. It doesn't even come in a box. It comes in a cellophane seal and that's all you get. Um, but I love it because it's based on old an old Lenormand deck that's been slightly recolored by Robert M. Place and not in his. And the reason why I bought it is because it wasn't in Robert Robert M. Place's style. Because those of you who know me, not I'm no, I'm not a fan at all of Robert M. Place's work. Um, but I do absolutely love, love, love. This, I was using it in London for me and Levi, and I've been using it since I've come home as well. Um, and it just reads like a dream because, you know, there's nothing on the cards that shouldn't be on there. Simple, straight to the point, and very, very readable. So that is the New York Lenormand. You'll probably be able to get this offline, um, but I got this from Watkins because they sell all the rest of Robert's work anyway. So the next one I'm on to is this cool deck that I found um wondering idy on the shelf in Watkins and it was a sample copy um well without going through all the reason um you know um I purchased a sample copy for really cheap um because I love the images and I love how the deck works um basically it's you've got like keywords all over you know you've got freedom and harmony there is a little system to the deck as well um, on the back of your, the, the cards, you've got fo a focus card and a... Hang on, that one's back to front. So you've got focus cards, basically, and then you have got a theme card. So, you know, you can use this deck the way you want to, but the author explains to pick one from each pile. So, you know, you can kind of get like... Um, a really good message i just love 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 the colors um these cards are by neferatiti therapies um i actually went to the person's website and they're not available anymore um they are lovely there's 53 cards in the deck um and i love the modernness um and straight to the point and there you've got images and layout by artists ken mccalla and kearney murphy um, and there's a couple of instruction cards in here as well. So it's a really beautiful deck, um, totally usable um, in any way you want to. Um, I just love it. I love the vibrancy, as I said. Um, it's a beautiful, the artwork's beautiful as well. So um, yeah, this is one that will become a firm favourite. Um, I love the other voice and the body, self-care. You've got some generic ones in here, but you've also got other ones that you don't normally see. Um, index that often as well. Um, healing environment. Time is now, so that's a timing card. Um, reflection. And then you've got like blinded as well. Meditation. So, you know, you can like kind of use the keywords for your own jumping off point. Mother Earth healing thoughts um and it's gorgeous i absolutely love it so this was a bit of a steal um it's a shame that uh, you know the uh artist doesn't the author creator doesn't have any more in stock because i feel as though this one is one of those little lovely overlooked decks um that i've never actually seen before um mind you saying that i've never looked for it um but i, I can't recall seeing it on anybody's feed on instagram um, but it is a really lovely deck, so I'm really happy with that one. The third one is a beautiful gift from my friend Miranda of the Boutique. Um, and along with his candle as well. That was for a birthday gift, by the way. These are the Codependent Perfectionist Oracle Cards by Alana Cavallo. Illustrated by Evan P. Needick and edited by Carla Del V, I think. Del V. Um, so... The Codependent Perfectionist Oracle Cards are here to provide you with insight, guidance and support along your therapeutic journey. With the universe as your guide, you can use these cards to gain greater 
understanding of yourself if you struggle with codependency, perfectionism or any other issue. This deck is for you. Just pick a card and let yourself grow. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love it so much. Um, first of all, it's like um, it's what we call a double deck. So you've got like the artwork on the one side and then the message on the other. But how I've been using these cards is I've been putting them in a bag. Um, shuffling them first and then putting them in a bag and then just picking one out blindly and I've been kind of like really deep diving into the messages that you've been getting the artwork is vibrant the cardstock is gorgeous it's like you can hear it kind of like it's like a can you hear that the linen it's just amazing so basically you've got an image and then you have a keyword so you've got expectations and that one's needs um and then boundaries and then on the back say for instance if you pull this card boundaries people will treat you however you allow them to boundaries are essential to having all relationships codependents are afraid of the repercussions that may come from implementing boundaries don't fear trusting what's important to you and what you know to be true a professional can help if you're having difficulty identifying what is and isn't acceptable to you. Once a boundary is identified, simply telling the other person that something isn't okay is not sufficient. Stay true to yourself and don't slide. Your behaviour must match your words. And then you've got, it is time, is it time to identify and implement boundaries with someone in your life? You are so worth the effort. So these I've been using for journaling. It's in a similar kind of um, league to, um, oh gosh, I forgot what it's called, the Reclaim Oracle. And I've also got another one, um, which is absolutely fab that I've been using as well, um, which is the Therapy Toolkit. Um, and this is a kind of a similar deck as well, um, which I will be doing a walkthrough of this because it's brilliant, honestly. Um, but this deck is brilliant. Um, what the author does say in the, and let me find the title card. Let me just show you some of the cards are all vibrant. Um, the keywords are very, very usable. You've got faith there. You've got truth, partnership. I just love art like this. Um, judgment, anxiety, which has really, this card has really, really helped me to focus uh, this last week. Um, you know, since, well, I, I had the deck from Miranda. Um, you know, imagine taking your, to, imagine yourself talking to an issue you're feeling anxious about and giving it to God. You haven't got to use, obviously, the God. You can use, like, higher, higher power, anything you want to. Ask to be given the trust you need and thank your higher power for blessing it and taking care of it for you. So, you know, when we are anxious, we are in a state of fear. Um, and you know, it's just so, so usable and it's incredibly, um, lovely deck. I mean, you know, Miranda sells this on a website and I think it's something like super cheap, like £22 or something. Um, and these kind of decks can be used, you know, personally and obviously, you know, with, um, a bit of thought, you can actually use them with someone else as well, but you know, with these kind of decks, we don't want to be using them willy-nilly on people because it might be a triggering experience. You know, we have to kind of like, you know, be a little bit mindful um, when we're using self-help decks like this on other people. But, you know, the keywords, you've got joy and victim. And then you've got the phoenix, um, spirituality, honesty, enabling, worth codependency you can see look the poppies are all like really entwined perfectionism oh it's just adorable thank you miranda i love it i really do and i read them um, i actually had uh this is why this is the addiction you know, we, we kind of get addiction confused, don't we, sometimes between like, a, you know, substance abuse or, you know, something like that. And it's not always about substance abuse. You know, addiction can be addicted to spending and shopping and all sorts of things. You know, it's a compulsive activity. Um, and most op op often this behaviour is to cope with emotional discomfort. 
and it says if you drew this card today it may be asking you why where you are out of balance in your life are you overworking overeating overusing get support to work through your addictive tendencies so you know it's really good to find out what's going on um you know because i think a lot of us can relate to like you know a lot of the situations in these cards as well and so this is an absolutely favorite of mine instant favorite um i don't know whether it's because of the artwork it's really vibrant um and like kind of got this really like kind of happy vibe to it um or whether it's the messages or just a mixture of two but it is a beautiful beautiful deck so when i've been using this a little bit more i'm going to come back and give it a proper review because decks like these again as i said get overlooked um you know because they're not full of love and light they make us question ourselves um and i think that's really important so that is the beauty four the codependent perfectionist oracle cards um which are available now from the boutique uh if you are in the uk or obviously you can still order but um it's nice to have the uk on our doorstep uh, miranda on our doorstep sorry um right next one i've got is um i bought the pulp girls tarot this is so cute um i got this from forbidden planet planet in london um they didn't used to sell tarot decks, but now they sell the pop culture ones, you know, like Strange Things and Star Trek, Hocus Pocus and a few of the other supernatural, I think. And this is by the Pulp Girls who are on Instagram. And it's got this super cute 70s vibe to it. Um, and what I do love about it is the guidebook because all the cards have got an affirmation or a question. Um, this would be a really, really good deck to buy a beginner. Um especially a young person um it's very diverse as well um you know so you will see a lot of different kind of body types and skin colors in here as well and i love it i really do love it i showed it my friend last night um and she absolutely loved it as well i don't know what it is it's like the the, the cuteness of the pictures it's basically a, a ride away smith clone which is fine um, but it's geared towards the younger person or the younger tart. Um, and I couldn't resist picking this up, to be honest. It was thirteen ninety nine, which is an absolute steal for a deck of this quality. In this box with a little ribbon as well. It's published by Rock Point, um, which have published a few decks. Um, and it really is lovely. Um, yeah, the cards have got like this 70s like kind of retro vibe. Um I mean, some of the costumes, as you will see in a minute, like, you know, and as I said, you know, different body shapes. It is all women on here anyway. So if you're looking for a deck with guys in it, um, you won't find any guys in here because it is the Pulp Girls Tarot. Um, it's just fab. It really is. Um, everything, you know, it, it's just one of these like happy pick me up decks where you think oh you know what i'm gonna pick up my pulp girls tarot today um because it's super cute and super cute uh cool and it's highly usable um so yeah i mean look at that it's so lovely and the font as well i just love the font the way the font's been done um let's have a look what else we got so there's the one on the front of the box Look at that, with the sun on that. Yep, this ticks all the boxes for me. Cool and groovy, modern, diverse. And it's nice to see something. Look at that outfit, that's so cool. That looks reminds me of a Bratz, um, a Bratz doll. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see the kind of like vibe that this deck actually does give off. Um, so this is another one that I shall adore and will remind me of my time in London.
There you go. That is the Pulp Girls Tarot. Um, you can get this on my Amazon, I think, as well, for the same price, $13.99. And you know what, guys? It's an absolute bargain. So the next one, in the same kind of uh, league, is the Wiser Tarot. I wanted to get this from Amazon, but it was always sold out. I didn't, did I want another Rider Waite Smith clone? Not really. But when I saw flip through the, uh, flip, sorry, flip throughs of this, I thought, oh, it's really beautiful. And I, I really didn't want to like it at all because I thought it was just like a deck for the sake of it, but it's not. Um, what I love about it is I love the, the new recolouring. Uh, it's gorgeous. Um, The deep kind of bluey greens with the pentacles. I mean, I'm not going to do a full flip through of this because everybody knows what the Rider Waite Smith looks like. But with this one, you've got people instead of all white faces on here, you've got people with brown face faces and black faces and different skin tones as well. Um, which is lovely if you really love the Rider Waite Smith deck but thought it was a bit too. Um, white european um this one has just been recolored i think it's still um pamela's original line drawings uh, because the signature's still there i think it's just had a a massive overhaul um it's kind of garish which i love um not as garish as the albino um the albino tarot but like i mean the colors are kind of garish but i love it i absolutely love it um, I haven't used it yet, I still think it's still in order, I haven't even shuffled it, but um, it's gorgeous, I absolutely love it. If you can get a copy of this and you do love the Rider Waite Smith and you want something new, fresh and vibrant, um, this is lovely. Everything about it is quality, the card stock, um, the backs as well, we've got the Tudor Rose on and the Ankh as well, and so... Yeah, this is a lovely new version of the Rider Waite Smith, Smith Tarot, and this is published by Wiser Books. Um, now, last deck, but not least, I was kind of in two minds whether to buy this, because I hadn't seen any illustrations, and it, this was just a blind buy. Um, it was cheap as well, and it's published by um, Red Feather, I think. I'm sure it is. Um, but, you know, it's not your normal standard red feather. Um, the cards are actually nice. Just Lenormand size as well. Um, I'll just I'll just kind of show you, like, the cards. They're really nice. I like it a lot. Um, I actually unpacked these when I was in the hotel room. And me and Levi was looking through them. And I thought, oh, yeah, that is really nice. The, the, the crappy thing about it is the red feather packaging. You know, the cards do get stuck in the bottom. Um, so you have to be super careful, you know, in case you might tear them. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely deck. You can see the holes in the front as well. And it comes with a guidebook. Um, each card has its own page as well. Um, and like the history and everything. Um, I don't really think it's necessary, it's necessary to have a 104 page guidebook. There's plenty of things, you know, that you can find on you know online it doesn't really kind of explain the images in the cards it just gives brief uh general descriptions of the cards so it's not really important um because people have got their own style of reading lenormand anyway um the card stock is lovely um like matte um just the right thickness as well you know it's not glossy uh, which i'm really really glad about and so like you know we've just got like you know the uh they've got spanish titles on the bottom um i really like the artwork i really do and i didn't think i would i thought it was going to be oh no that looks like super tacky super cheap um but it doesn't so you've got two senora cards um and you've got two caballero cards i think that's how you say it um two male and female cards um it's just really nice the, the illustrations kind of remind me of 
Oh, I've got the, the Santa Muerte Tarot, um, Tarot of Santa Muerte, not the Fabioli Strani one, not that one, um, the original one in the black box um, from Mexico. And they kind of remind me of those kind of illustrations, you know, 50s, kind of 60s, kind of, you know, that kind of vibe to it. And, and I'm glad it's been done in this kind of style instead of computer generated and... Uh, horrible um because it's not it's it's really lovely um and i think um the illustrator done a really nice job of it um the illustrator is cali french and dan pelletier so i do really really like um i'm getting back into the lenormand cards at the moment because you know quick simple straight to the point answers um no messing around and this is what i love um so yeah that is a uh, les santa muerte le normand um and that's available now i think um i picked this up in don't know whether it was watkins or atlantis one or the two um but this one is really lovely so i'm glad i got that one on uh a whim um that is one of the best better purchases i've had um, last but not least, um, obviously it wasn't all about tarot. I had to get some inserts for my Traveller's Notebook from London Graphics Company. Um, they're super cheap, much cheaper than getting them from um, the journal shop. I mean, that uh, craft paper one was five ninety five. The triple card folder was £5. And the watercolour paper was five ninety five. you know. So, you know, if you're in London and you are looking for... Um, inserts for your Traveller's Notebook and Traveller's Notebooks, by the way, and all kinds of other stationery because I've got the watercolour tint, uh, pencils to pop in, uh, pen, paints even, to pop in my bag. Um, go in, the guys are absolutely lovely and there is an, an array, a huge, huge, huge array of art supplies and it's in Covent Garden. So it's lovely to be back, guys. Um, I have got so many deck walkthroughs to do, and I mean so many. So I'll be on again tomorrow with another deck review. Also, I want to review something that was gifted to me on my birthday, which is incredibly special. Um, it's going to be a bit of an exclusive because nobody else has got the deck. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, coming on and showing you guys what I'm doing. So thank you again. Thanks for bearing with while I've not been too good and been like missing in action. Um, it's great to be back. And hopefully um, I'll see you all soon on a live again with Levi. Um, I've got an upcoming one on Thursday, um, which I shall advertise. Um, it's I think it's 100% like in the bag. Um, and I'm also interviewing a Norman deck creator as well in a couple of weeks. So I've got a lot coming up and uh, that should take, me up to christmas anyway so thanks guys leave comments obviously below if you find anything interesting also um again anybody got any info on this the oracle of deccans please 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 let me know so thank you for watching see you all soon lots of love take care and be good